All right, the next chunk of lesson 2-1 is just example A. Let's take a look at the little paragraph that's on the bottom of page 15. It says, one way to solve equations containing a variable is to use the algebraic method. This method is also called the symbolic method or solving equations using symbols. On the previous slide, you saw a whole bunch of math tips. These are our properties of equality, meaning that we can perform the same operation on both sides of the equation without affecting the solution of the equation. So we do things like adding the same number to each side, we can subtract the same number, we can multiply the same number, and we can divide the same number as long as we don't divide by zero. A couple of other important properties that we learn are the, systemat uh, the symmetric property, the commutative property, the associative property, and the distributive property. Some of these are some that you have possibly heard about already. So let's take a look at example A. It has been worked for us completely. It asked us to solve the equation 30x plus 90 plus 2x equals 360 using the algebraic method. It also asks that you list the property or provide an explanation for each step that you take. And then it turns around and tells you to check your answer in the end. So they started out with the original equation written the exact way that it was given to us. And we didn't necessarily like that because we want our X terms. We can combine those. But in order for us to do it, we really should put them beside each other. So we're going to use the commutative property of addition, which means we're going to rearrange and put our like terms together. Okay. So we have 3x plus 2x. So now all, notice all they did was move the 2x in front of the 90 and we switched places with the 90 and the 2x. So now they've done combined like terms where they actually add the 3x and the 2x together to get 5x. Then they need to move this 90 because we're trying to ultimately get x by itself. And in order to do that, we need to move the 90. So we subtract 90 from both sides of the equation using the subtraction property. Again, we're going to do a com com uh, combining of like terms because we have 5x because these two pieces would have, in essence, they're opposites, so they would have amounted to zero. There's no reason for us to write plus zero. So, and then they did the 360 minus the 90, which gave them 270. Now, the last thing that's attached to that x over there is a the coefficient. When we have a number written in front, right in front of an X, it means that we're going to multiply. So to do the inverse operation of multiplication, we're going to divide because five di divided by five is actually going to be one X. There's no need for us to write the one in front of the X. So when we go to write it in our final answer, we'll actually just put X all by itself. But whatever we do to one side, remember, we do have to do to the other. So 270 divided by 5 was 54. Now, it does always ask us to do a check of our answers. So notice every time they saw the number or they saw the letter X, sorry, they plugged in the value of 54. So 3 times 54 plus 90 plus 2 times 54. And we're trying to make sure that this equals 360. Well, the 3 times 54 is 162, the 2 times 54 is 108, and 162 plus 90 plus 108 is 360. So therefore, we got the same number on both sides of the equation, so this does work. Our solution is x equals 54. I want you and your partners or your table mates to take the next 10 minutes to work through all of the try these a one of them the first one's going to ask us to recall the equation we set up on number two and make sure that we got what we answered whenever i did the guess and check method okay don't forget to make sure you check your solution and then you will do the same for b through g 
solve the equation using algebraic method, show each step, use the proper or list the properties or provide an explanation for each step. You might want to do this on a piece of scratch paper because clearly you're not going to have enough space to write all the answers here. So go ahead, take 10 minutes to work with your table mates and complete the try these A. Now that you've gotten a moment to work on these, I want you to you do the time to climb and see how many of these you got right. Good luck.